Hey, everybody. Okay, anyway, so now that everything <laughs> is actually ready, um, basically just for the benefit of having an intro, um, we're going to be re-watching a match from uh, the last monthly checkup. It was a round one game that I think was the best game of the tournament. Um, it was uh, S Betty B versus Sarah. And this game went the full five games. No, you know, spoiler alert. But uh, it there was just a lot of things happening, and uh, I thought it'd be a good one, a fun one to watch and to uh, to analyze over. So we'll be just watching the game, and we'll be pausing to analyze stuff and uh, and talk about it. And hopefully, you know, you guys will all like that. Maybe. <laughs> so <laughs> let's do that. Um, I'm ready if you're ready. Unless there's anything you wanted to. Get into no, it uh, get into it. just want to say hi to everyone, and I hope you enjoyed this weekend's action at Louisville, if you watched any of it. Le yeah, I am going to be a bit quiet, because, I don't know, hold on, let me see if I can, I'll probably have to turn you down, rather than, because I'm, I'm cranked to the max. Maybe I should just talk louder. Is that the solution? I don't know. Hold on. Maybe, I don't know. I can turn oh, the game up on my mic a little bit. I think we're I think we're about even now if the if the yellow bars in OBS are to be believed. So hopefully that helps a bit. Okay, then in that case, um, it's going to start as soon as I hit play. But uh, I do want to look at the first the first move. I think the first move of the every versus game is like one of the most interesting decisions. Um, especially... I always think it's so exciting to see if players play the first like three or so the same. Yeah, exactly. I love to see like if people take the same opening strategy and you always get that like dramatic pause at the start of a game before the first pill drops and you get to see what it's going to be and you get to see the board and you get to like come up with something in your head and then the players <laughs> go and you get to see if it worked out. It's I just love the first the start of the game. It's great. So I want to look at that uh, on each. Oh, other's, can we uh... now that you say that? What are you able to pause right as yeah. the first pill shows and we can say what we would have done yeah that's what we're yeah that's what oh, i want oh. to do oh yeah okay awesome oh great okay <laughs> yes Let's by the that. power of technology i can in fact pause the video so we'll do that <laughs> uh Let's give go. me one sec here we go okay uh should i mute Ooh. the game audio by the way i think i will oh, or at least turn okay. it down quite a bit just so Ooh. it's not overpowering us so this is the opening board um we're getting a blue red to start the my initial instinct is just to put it right in the middle and stack it on the yeah. red blues and i think that this one's pretty straightforward um there's really no other good place to put it that i can I, think of yeah because there's not really anything you know this isn't a speed board you're not going to try to lay it down and work a couple layers down because otherwise you might try to do something like column one but uh mm, yep nope it's down the center for me yeah also feel free in chat to like comment if you have ideas or whatever um just so that everyone knows what i'm talking about i'm gonna use my fancy pen but like this is where we're thinking the red blue uh would want to be like right in this spot here on sarah's board you can see so that's i mean yeah unfortunately there's not much discussion to be had here because sometimes i think it can get pretty interesting yeah swang agrees in the middle okay so we're not crazy because the, the pros have chimed in and we all are right. correct all right let's let's see what they do now, do you, of these two players, who you think would be more likely to do something different? Betty. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> not even a, <laughs> not even a, a contest. It's still three plus two, which is okay. Yeah, exactly. And it's just the only place to match both colors on the first bill. So let's see what they do. Yeah. All right. Oh, all right. So Sarah actually gets a combo and, and Betty passes it up. Sarah's actually wow. getting a lot of more combos than than Betty is. Um, yeah, she's uh, she's rocking the combos right now, but still, they haven't really had a giant effect on Betty yet, especially because of all that blue. Uh, I would disagree. I mean, like if you just look at her, well, she's about to get more garbage. So let me just let that play out. But like, if you look at the boards right now, like Betty's pretty. Well, it's not insurmountable, but that's pretty bad. It's a pretty bad. Uh, yeah, bunch of clutter to have no, at the top I guess of the you're board right. like that. I'd say it's affected her. It does. It's not like game ending, but it's affected her a lot. It's definitely put her behind. Meanwhile, I mean, Sarah's got the. I don't know how this blue horizontal happened. I'm, I think maybe this third piece was maybe garbage that fell, and now she's just put a double there to try to clear it out. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, 
other than that, like the board looks great for her and for Betty it looks terrible and it doesn't even look like she has like combo opportunities to, to get anything out of it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I definitely like that Sarah's put herself in a little better position for diversity as a speed player. I'm super excited about what might happen in the cluster in the center for Betty with all the red, but like you, I have to stop thinking that way. <laughs> Reverse it. So go ahead. Yeah, for sure. Uh, okay. Let's keep going. Well, she's actually making okay. a combo opportunity right here, but she's mm -hmm. really going out of her way to do it. Meanwhile, Sarah's just... Oh, oh Sarah's comboed herself, unfortunately. Yep. Hate to see it. <laughs> you hate, okay, you hate Betty's to see it. comboing with all that garbage. Nice. Okay. This uh, is the speed move that got, I wanted. She got the big... Well, it's a combo move, too. I mean, like, getting... Well, yeah. Crosses are, pr are probably almost maybe better in versus, honestly. Just because they make combos. <laughs> Yeah, so Sarah's working on something in column one and two. She gets the blue-red, which she's getting right now. Luckily, Betty's garbage isn't hurting her. Nice. Not but there's so though. much yellow on Sarah's board. Uh, she, I just want to go back because Sarah did kind of miss something here. That would have, It's a small thing, but like, so she got this garbage here. This yellow mm -hmm. garbage is about to fall and make an opportunity. And then with the blue yellow, she's going to clear these yellows out and let the blue fall on top onto this virus down here. Um, but unfortunately, if she had just taken another millisecond to look at her next, she would see that she's about to have a combo and that she's just broken a combo mm -hmm. opportunity. Mm -hmm. This is something I see people do a lot in a lot of games. Obviously, in this case, it's even more difficult because you have to know that that pill is coming and you have to recognize it quickly enough to stop yourself from making this move. But like, she could have uh, put this yellow blue like... Let's, let me just pull it out. Like, she could have put it, like, here, and then the blue's half here. She could have laid it flat like that. She could have, um, well, I mean, that's probably the, the best move. She could have yeah, even I just put it on move. the right side over here, like, uh, to laying the blue here and then the yellow on this side, something like that. It's not a great move, but it's better than breaking up a combo that she's about to get. She'll be able to put the yellow right on the left, but people break up their combo opportunities way too often. Honestly, I feel like that... It, it doesn't f visibly hurt you in any way, but it, as a higher level concept, you should avoid breaking up your combos, like uh, setups like that as much as possible. Because, uh, yeah, still very combos are king, as close. Far as I'm concerned. I mean, definitely. You're still very close to the top of the bottle, though. So you're doing that thing where you are starting to das or hit down on your pieces before you even register the next box. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, I agree with you. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying that this was a, like an easy miss. Like this is a hard thing to see for sure. But I think just as a default train of thought when you're playing, it's like I should avoid unless it's absolutely necessary for survival or something. You should just avoid messing up your your combo opportunities because you're just giving combos away, and that's garbage and time that uh, you could have cost Betty that she's not going to get now. Sure. All right, we'll keep going. I assume she's gonna. Oh, well, she actually just cleared out the... She, maybe she just wanted to clear out her center. That maybe was what she was thinking. Right, or maybe she had so... a crazy... That crazy combo setup I didn't see. <laughs> oh, Betty was waiting on uh, the center column with the yellows. And then some blue fell on top of it. Oh. I, I hate the situation like Betty's column eight. That's the thing yeah. that when I play versus, it drives me up. A wall and it makes me really angry 100 <laughs> percent. i think that oh boy she, oh okay she was uh tr yeah I, she was trying obviously trying to go for the combo opportunity at the top there and, and just missed it but that's what i mean like i feel like this whole situation sort of manifested from that opening where sarah got the combo and betty didn't it just started her down this path where it led to her cluttered top board and sarah's board at this point is completely clean like that's that's just illustrates how important that first combo really is to get um and also just uh not um what's am i trying to say just not getting too lost in in setups that don't work out but mostly just mm -hmm. having that getting that early momentum is so huge because usually that's what leads to what happened here i think got it all right well oh swung says um, i see sarah's play she drops the blue and can horizontal drop in column four but she doesn't have a blue pill to fire that combo. I will look back real quick at that. Because we were talking. Just because we were talking about it. How far back was it? Oh. She was looking at. I think I see what you're saying. 
Mm, mm -hmm. like you can yes you can set up a, a horse. she was looking towards like a future setup i guess where she combos this blue column five is what you meant yeah yeah mm -hmm. and i guess that's what she ended up doing while she does this um and then eventually yeah, she's... that's Ooh. what this play was yeah mm -hmm. and then she makes the horizontal to drop combo so she was just thinking of it differently that's fair but i think passing up the obvious combo is still probably not Correct. Flashy isn't always better. I mean, uh, depends who you ask, but I feel like Flashy is not always better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Uh, let's go back to... The oh, whoa. Yeah, oh, let's look at the start oh. of the next game. Okay. Anyway. okay. All right, pause that. I mean, come on. One and two? That, yeah, seems, kind of. that seems pretty... I th if that red virus wasn't there and we had no red on the top line, where would you put it then? I think that's a way more interesting idea. Because that's kind of a that would be really um, bad. Five, no. Oh, what is that? Five six. Five, five six. Uh, five six. Me... Sideways. Which column is the red half in? Uh, six. So like the red here. Mhm. Mm yeah, yeah. That's pretty much. I think anything like that. Anything that puts the red between a yellow and a blue is fine. Like put the blue somewhere and then put the red. Like something like if you did, um, let me clear this. If you did like, uh, like if you blocked off the yellow here with a red, I think that's a lot worse because now you have blue, red, blue. Assuming this red oh, isn't yeah, here. Definitely. So yeah, that's that's mm -hmm. the thing in speed play too, right? Like where you want to just sort of give yourself more options, more easy options for the split pills for the different combinations, mm -hmm. and give yourself like a spot for all three of the the splits, like red, yellow, red, blue, and blue, yellow. And doing right. something like red there and then blue like on this spot does not really do that because you're blocking that yellow off and now you have nowhere good. You still have nowhere good for red yellow, but if you even just moved it over one, shifted it over one column, then that would be way better. Mm -hmm. I'd go four five center, blue on blue since yellow blue is too. <laughs> Dude, this guy's speaking in notation. I. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I get it. Yeah. Four five center, instead well, of five six. Blue on, well, I mean, of course, well, blue on there's, blue. Yeah, it just depends on left blue or right blue. With yellow, blue, and uh -huh. three, four. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's kind of yeah. the idea. It's the same thing, really. It's just kind of pick your poison. Mm -hmm. It's, it, it's, as long as you're not, you're keeping your options open and you're not like, you're putting the red next to a yellow, I think is the key here. But anyway, mm -hmm. in this case, they're just obviously, since that's not the world we live in, they're just going to put it in one, two, and with the red on the red, obviously. And uh, I don't think either of them are going to do anything any crazier than that, to be honest. Seems let's, reasonable. Uh, yeah, let's see. Yep. Yeah, of course. Okay, and Betty goes for the combo. Sarah doesn't. Gets that first combo off. Um, interesting. Yeah, Sarah's already a little bit... Uh, Oh, oh that's, nice tea that, that there. That's a cool tea. If she gets a double yellow, she gets all this garbage cleared away. She's really playing horizontally yeah. in, in this spot. Yeah, and that's challenging with uh, versus. Look at that again. I mean, like, nice there. She's really cleaned out of the garbage well. But uh, Betty's got another combo opportunity. Wow, she's setting up really high on seven. Yeah, that's always a huge risk, I think. Honestly, oh, yeah, she's going to take the combo there, but I don't even know if I would go for that yellow red. I would be so scared. I think on cause... medium you can do it, but... Yeah, but medium uh, medium on... Oh, I guess they're on fight, Kate. I don't yeah, know. Exactly. I'm still not sure about the, the lag there. Okay, Usually so the Sarah's... it's good enough. You can make moves like that, but now it's totally blocked off. And that's why... Right. I... Well, now she can clear it out again, and now she's kind of forced to... <laughs> Yeah, she's got a combo there. We'll see if she does, though. <sighs> Honestly, though, her board's not even that much worse than Sarah's. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't really see what happened over there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I don't I don't love the situation that Sarah's got with the three up, three columns up really high. Wow, Betty dropped a lot of garbage there. Yeah, she's really making a better uh, a better go of it than, than Sarah is, I guess. Um I don't know yeah, if her Sarah's setups are just still... not working Oh, out wait, or... wait, stop that, stop that. Can oh, you stop yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I can, Go sorry. back. Uh, a couple seconds. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so watch Sarah. Mm, Did I go too far? Back a little bit. Uh, <laughs> go back Here, a little I'll bit? go back a little bit more. Right. I'll start playing it. Yeah, you yeah, tell yeah. Me yeah. When to stop. Okay. Okay. 
<laughs> so Sarah does this nice combo. Look, she's got this. Okay, that's this, what I would not have done. This horizontal have, here? Yeah, because it's a horizontal with a red-blue. What I would have done is I would have put the red-blue blue down in column two, because then she would have dropped oh, the sorry. red. I was trying to go back like one frame. Let me. I just went back 10 seconds. Oops. Let's go. This. Yeah, okay. see that? Yeah. So, so she put the blue side down in column six. Yeah, I just want to go back to where she did i miss it yeah you missed it i want to go back okay a second. that's it that's it right here yeah, this move is the one you're talking about so she's board. gonna yeah she's gonna put a blue side down in column six yeah which uh seals off her only like open red that advances the board but also if you look at if she put this blue side down in column two oh she had a combo she missed she yeah. had a combo that's and, yeah i think that's way better yeah yeah i think she was maybe a little more preoccupied with like trying to get these reds out of the center that are not really doing anything but they are doing a combo which i guess she didn't see i didn't even see it honestly right. until you pointed it out i wasn't looking at that <laughs> at all uh yeah i've been playing uh i've been playing a lot of um higher up levels today and stuff being really close together and just trying to optimize those mm -hmm. things so i think i'm primed to see that kind of stuff um yeah if that wasn't there what i might even or if i didn't see it like i didn't what i might have even done instead of that um uh, would be to by the way just for everyone who's not uh who is just to make sure everyone's following she's talking about column two putting it like this and then the blue is clear and the red half falls down here to make an actual combo instead of just blowing her combo opportunity mm -hmm. as she did but what i was thinking as another alternate move was even just to like stack it like this Put a blue yeah. here and then put the red over top of this this uh open uh mm, spot here mm -hmm. and that's i mean that's doable. riskier and it might depend what the next pill is which i haven't seen but um i think that uh <laughs> that could be mm -hmm. better hey exact same analysis stream hype let's go, hey, let's go. <laughs> yeah. a song says versus leads to tunnel vision and sometimes it's hard to see combo i didn't see that combo in two haha <laughs> yeah i know right sometimes you oh get so gosh. preoccupied with the setup you're trying to make that you don't even see the one that just kind of happened and uh yeah yep. that's how you miss stuff like that for sure um i really want to just quickly go forward like a couple frames just to see what the next Sarah's next pill actually is. It's another blue. That in that case, like if this combo wasn't here, I would definitely do that. Where I'd do that move I suggested mm -hmm. because yeah. now you're one away from uh, from actually having a, a pretty decent combo, and you can even hang the second one over to the right side to maybe combo these reds if you get a third red blue after that, which in NES can definitely happen. Yeah. <laughs> so that's another option too. But obviously, if you have the combo, I I always seem. Like when I play, I'm always every time I have a combo that I can take, I almost always take it. I don't. I know s players like Swang like to. I, I notice them foregoing it to try to build a bigger combo and get more value. I'm just not about that risky life. And, well, I uh, only yeah. I, I see the value in that. I only defer oh, for sure. when my board is very clean. If my board is messy already, I just want to get the combo off because there's plenty of other garbage that I can try to build combos off of. But yeah, I mean, one thing that I've noticed uh, really good players do is like, if you can sort of hold out a little while until you, you think your opponent has a false sense of security and then drop all that stuff, like, that's pretty great. Of course, yeah. Obviously, the, the risk, though, is that, you know, your opponent yeah, gets oh. a quick double and then it happens to uh, fall right in your setup and now you have this gigantic oh. setup that's blocked off everything. That's my that's my life playing with Dave Smith. Anyway, <laughs> hey, did, that, did that happen a lot in Louisville this weekend? This past so weekend? <laughs> I played him like two times. Actually, we never met each other in bracket or in pool play. Oh, interesting. Um, and uh, yeah, the the games that I won, I really I really took it to him, but. There were these times when I would get my speed game going at the beginning. And then sometime in the mid game, when he was behind, I was ahead, he would just combo the crap out of me. And I had no, mm -hmm. I could not figure out what to do. For sure. That's yeah. that's why I think that, um, I kind of think that the, uh, like, I'm, I'm really curious to know what the, and the role of speed play really is in versus. Personally, I think it's like, pretty niche mm. like you can do it if you're insanely 
like an insanely good speed player, but most of the time the risk that combos are just going to mess up whatever you're doing and not really sending prioritizing combos to send garbage back and mm-hmm. buy yourself time it really doesn't totally pan out. i totally agree i think there's a place it, for speed play especially at the end when you're like at the end game and you're ready to close the game out yes for sure but definitely that's, but in the mm-hmm. early and mid i just don't i don't know if it's no, it depends got... it's situational i'm sure there's times where it's worth doing it but i think combo is uh, some of the like well i don't want to get off too off a tangent but i'll just say that i think combos um really are the the mean potatoes of versus oh no definitely it gets me into a lot of trouble against anyone worth their salt so <laughs> mm-hmm. all yeah, right let's go all righty so she does that move we've seen that she clears this blue she's at least clearing things away that's a start and she gets mm-hmm. that combo which is pretty good one okay. oh well so her garbage really did nothing to betty sort of just advanced things which was good nice combo from betty at triple yeah she's got a huge uh t setup on here in the left side yeah she takes that nice but yeah i mean she's still like really i mean be- messed up be- there but yeah betty's had in virus count but the boards i feel like are almost equal like betty's probably slightly ahead if i had to guess mm-hmm. especially now that sarah's got more stuff going on and she's not really converting but yeah she- but look how betty's really cleaning out now because there's just been this little moment of reprieve from a combo. I mean, Sarah fires off that all all garbage short stack, which is good. Yeah. But still, it's not Ooh. doing much damage to Betty. Yeah, I think she missed drop in the column two there as well. Yeah. And now, given, given another 20 seconds, and now Betty's board looks so much better. And I don't know if it's right. just because Sarah just can't find the combos setups, or if... Uh, if it's if like mm. Betty was just ahead the whole time, but she's getting some here. Yeah, I want a double red for Sarah, but I just <laughs> <laughs> nice commentator's that... blessing on our pre-recorded Woo! video. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, man, column seven and eight just make me think that this crown belongs to Betty. Uh, and so if you see Betty too, like there's that goes one and two. She's got this combo now in three and four. Like, yeah, she's she's being very smart about firing that off. And yeah. the yellow actually doesn't hurt too much because it adds a little bit of diversity in there. For sure. And there she goes. She gets it with that combo. The other thing is she's finding combos along the way where I think Sarah's maybe just trying to play like level 20 survival and try to find yeah. whatever it happens to... <laughs> to show up in her mind i mean i sure wish i could do that as well as sarah does for sure oh for sure oh. and yeah betty gets some sweet garbage and combo sarah back that's okay well at least uh the garbage that betty sent was two uh two rows of the same of yeah. uh oh, of the reds in the center so, all right good oh oh, oh, think... oh come on sarah yeah Oh, she's opening up that horizontal opportunity later on. Yeah, that honestly might be the best. The best thing. But now she's just sort of empty clearing. It's not... Yeah. You can't... It, if you're behind, I feel like you're, you're even more pressured to be comboing because that's the only way you can catch up against someone who's ahead of you and also... Oh, <laughs> Betty had a combo that just got ruined, which was unfortunate. Yeah. I, I mean... saw I saw her thinking about a, a move that I'd love for speed, uh, which was fun. There we go. Combo from Betty again. Yeah, and I think this these kinds of games are sort of like a... Like, once the game is at this state, it's kind of a, a done deal. Like, it's pretty clear that, like, Sarah's not going to... Like, no one's going to come back from this. Not Sarah specifically, but, like... It's just yeah, so, so difficult to come back from this spot unless you're just, like, chaining combos for 30 seconds and clearing your whole board and they can't do anything. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the problem. I've I saw this situation a lot in the uh, tournament this weekend, of just somebody having a couple of columns that are stacked up really high, and doing their best to like take it to somebody else with the combos. But in the end, the viruses that are still left, they're just so locked up that you can't make progress, even if you're 
Well, yeah, you that's know? the thing. As much as Unlocking combos are someone. key, progress still matters. Like, it's not like I'm saying you have to, you know, I'm not Boom. in the DM hero school of thought where you have to top out your opponent completely, like every game <laughs> or anything like that. But, uh, hey, John. Yeah. Hey, John, he be motto could do it. Yeah, well, that's oh, what yeah. I mean. I've played against him, and we've literally... I had a game that just came down to top out, not because one of us comboed the other person really hard, but we both kind of comboed each other so much that no one could no one could finish out the level. And then the speed got so high that it literally just came down to, like, a combo contest and surviving because there was no way we were going to actually clear all the garbage and viruses underneath to win because it was just going too fast. And I, I don't, I don't know if that's where the end stage of uh, the Doctor Mario versus Meta is, but it kind of felt like it, because uh, yeah, Hibimoto kind of proves how f crazy comboing is. If anyone's ever seen him play, it's insane. Um, it is. So yeah, I, I kind of hope that's not exactly where the meta goes. It's very smart. Like when you realize the game is at a certain point, and like, yeah, you should definitely do that. But I don't know, there's something about, like, someone gets down to a perfect clear, and I just love that. You know, like, I think that's how the game should be won. Um, but well, it's so impressive. Oh, for sure. Yeah, Swong in the chat is saying that he, John Depp, Flindo, and Hibimoto played on Fightcade yesterday, and Swong had an opportunity to watch oh. it. And Swong says he looked like he was playing level 18 on Tetris. And honestly, yeah, that's what it felt like. Like, I, I can, can, can confirm that, uh, you know, my anecdotal evidence lines up with that. It's kind of insane. Like, I, if you watch his games, just not to get too much of a tangent, but if you watch his games, you will see, mo like, not just moments, but several, like, f maybe for, like, a minute or more where he is just comboing and he doesn't even look like he's attempting to make progress on the board because he's just committing everything to comboing you as much as possible. And it's oh, it's wild. Um, and I that's why I kind of think that's where... I don't know if, like, I think the majority of players are not even close to that yet, but, like, if everybody got to Hebe Models level, that would be every game, probably. Mm. Where you take progress where yeah. you can get it, but you're mostly just calming the other person so that they can't get progress, and that just ends up being a stronger thing to do. But that's, that's really fair. hard. It is really difficult, and I'm not going to say, oh, you'll never fin clear out a, a board against Hebe Model because sometimes you can just get there. But he's very, like... It's, he's proven that it's very possible to like lock out your opponent if you start doing it early and if you commit everything to combos. I think... Right. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll keep going. Uh, we'll look at the next uh, opening board. Okay, this one's a little more interesting. I mean, you're mm. going to put it on a yellow, I guess, but which one's better? Uh... I'm going to throw it to you so that I don't have to yeah. <laughs> potentially be wrong. <laughs> No, 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 I, like, it, it hurts me that vertical is, is probably going to be the play, because, like, as in my speed brain, what I would love to do is put it horizontally on 3-4, and just <laughs> yeah. wait around, wait around, and that's just not something that uh, I would recommend. So, well, you're talking think... about this, you're talking about this move, she's yeah, already watching. Yeah. My uh, speed brain wants that. So um, here's the thing. I think that's kind of, even in this situation, I think that could be a defensible play, honestly. Because if you put it, if you put it hor like vertically on either of these spots, like two or eight. It's not going to get you a combo. Really. Neither of these is a combo, a completed combo setup. Neither of these is a yellow red away from actually getting a combo. So to do that, you'd have, also there's a blue red setup that's like right here right like in these columns here that you would want to put a blue red here and you wouldn't mm -hmm. necessarily even want to put a red down in the spot because then you sort of have a combo set of building in these columns so it, yeah, okay it's not that bad though. and if the know. next one is a double red you now you've probably got a combo set of faster than the opponent does so you may want to do that if the next pill is double red or even just like red yellow or something honestly um i think if you're yellow red you're probably putting it um in seven and eight but mm -hmm. yeah i know I, I don't actually even think that plays that play could definitely be correct it might depend what the we could see what the next pill is and then decide if we wanted to change it obviously you don't really have that luxury in, a, in the game so much but so like the next okay. one's blue red after that looks like sarah's already going for column two <laughs> but uh, and 
Yeah, okay. So that would have been fine, especially because like I was hoping for blue reds to help me advance that plan that I was thinking of. So yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. I don't even think it's that bad. I think uh, Swong um, would argue that like horizontals are super strong in verses, and I kind of agree with him. I'm just not good enough to do it as well as he does. <laughs> but I find he goes for horizontal stuff a lot. I don't know if he would do this off the hop in, in the moment in under pressure, but uh it's the kind of play i could see him making for sure <laughs> well let's, anyway, uh, let's see let's what see they a couple do. more yep they both went there they both went for it yeah unfortunately okay. though it's not well, really I... oh I thought... hold on Did Betty... i do sorry what? sorry what were you gonna say i do like that sarah was just sort of throwing that blue yellow to the side just like Maybe she could build something later um, with it. Mm -hmm. but... I mean, you can build something off of that. Anytime you have anything, even just like a three and a two set up like this. Like I, so many times um, I've watched DM hero do this a lot. Actually, mm -hmm. he'll put, if he gets a blue yellow on the, like if this red yellow is a blue yellow, let's say he'll put it, uh, he'll put it like right here, but he'll put the yellow this way. So as not to, to break the setup. And yeah, he'll mm, make a yellow mm -hmm. garbage, but now the next blue yellow is going to make a combo. And I see him do that a lot, actually. Uh, it's yeah. kind of like a go-to thing for him. And uh, it's honestly, like, a lot of players will definitely just make the clear because they, you know, this is sort of the de facto thing to do. But um, honestly, making combo setups, even if they leave, like, even just a single piece of garbage behind, I think it's totally worth it. Cool. Um, but what uh, I wanted to see, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Is, you think you think betty's gonna go blue horizontal uh i think so i mean judging by the yellow blue that's there now i think she's definitely gonna do that but i wanted to see how that happened if she like i surely she didn't do that on purpose right yeah she just no missed, yeah like, that's sure mm -hmm. <laughs> okay <laughs> just wanted to be sure anyway <laughs> let's see how she gets out of it well she's now she's not getting blues so and now oh and that's wrecked it. yeah yeah, but she'll get okay. a combo anyway. But that's a good combo. Let's just make another horizontal. It's fine. <laughs> but she's leaving a lot of garbage behind and not making combos. It's usually... That's the one thing you think you want to avoid. Oh, Sarah's got a big chasm down the middle. I mean, she's been comboing well, but like... Oh. Bah. <laughs> Column seven and eight is painful. No. Oh, I actually, <sighs> I did want. Are you talking about uh, Betty or Sarah? Because well, both of them. But I yeah. just, I hate, I hate to see it build on Sarah. Okay. Anyway, I, go ahead. I actually just saw a move from that point right here. I don't, if you see the double red coming, and she has this mm -hmm. red garbage here. You can like, I what I don't remember what move she actually did. You could stack it up vertically. I think she puts it somewhere on the left. I'm pretty sure. Oh. But I actually think a a, a good move here is. Uh, to just lay it horizontally like this. Because now you can clear this garbage and you have a combo set up as well. The next pill is not going to do anything. I mean, you could even you could stack it on top of the red and then you would have another combo set up. But I think this is probably... Uh, like, these sorts of horizontal ways to get rid of garbage, I think, are super strong and something I that mean, people don't do often. They totally are, but you can't discount the fact that that is high up. And if she's trying to press down, like then she's just got to navigate around that. And she's leaving it open for Betty to drop on top of that. I would be super nervous about that, although I totally mm -hmm. agree with the horizontal, like, potential combo setup. Like, definitely see the point. I would be worried about that in gameplay. That makes sense. Um, I guess, to me, at this point, before she makes this move, she's already got a red blocking this yellow, and she doesn't do something about it. She's going to get in, eventually get into that yeah. blocked seven and eight column situation that you mentioned that mm -hmm. seems to be a huge issue for people. And I think seven and eight are honestly way worse to get blocked than the other side of the board. So it does look like, oh, I'm, put, I'm putting... It is kind of riskier, right? Because she's putting out... Um, uh, she's putting a, a high up pill in column five. And if garbage starts falling on that, that could get really scary and maybe even lead to a top out. But I think early on in the game, it's okay to take risks like this because if you don't, then you might end up just being in a, sh a shitty situation. You can't win from anyway. Um, yeah. like this red, this yeah. red garbage has already done the damage. So doing this move doesn't really put you in a much worse spot. And it at least gives you 
an opportunity to clear this garbage and to get a combo too if the red blue comes or even if you have to get a red yellow in there just to uh just to clear it away that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world i am feeling the l in my soul though the like, l oh i guess she uh, is that what she ended up doing i didn't even see that she did an l well, at the let's, bottom let's go to the tape bro <laughs> <laughs> okay oh hold on there we go no she just cleared this but that l would have been good and I honestly, now that I saw that, I don't know what the better move would be. But because I'm actually not super worried about column eight at the moment, because she could still horizontal those reds out of it. Like, oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, 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 oh. oh go back, go back, go back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait a second. So uh, she's. This is perfect. Stop. Okay, I'm don't not doing click that. anything. <laughs> okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay, so she's dropping the double red in two. This is Sarah. If she dropped it, correct? yes. This okay. is Sarah. If she drops it in six, seeing that the double blue is coming, she gets to like have a quad or something crazy like that. If she drops the blue straight down the center, she'll have a quad and she'll open up that yellow from underneath to underclear it in column eight. Uh. I'm kind of you kind of lost me there actually. Sorry, you're talking about. Okay, where um, are you talking about putting big, the blue? Big brain, big brain. Okay, big brain. Yeah, okay, uh, I'm into it. See how there's, uh, see how the double red is there in column two. Yes. Okay, she's just putting it there now. Oh, you mean put the double six, red there? Sorry, I thought you were talking yes, about the next yes. pill. I see. It. Okay. Yes, and then drops the blue straight down. Then she would have a sick L. Yes, I agree. She'd have a sick L, and the yellow would be opened up from underneath yes well that's true yeah that actually does help it doesn't really deal with the garbage up here but uh but it it gives you an option to take the column down which is huge and obviously right. that's a, a great combo and this red placement is not a combo at all which is kind of a waste of a double as far as i'm concerned but yeah i totally agree actually seeing that move now which is right here mm -hmm. way better even if this blue double blue isn't in the next box right now this is probably just worth it because you only need a single blue P half to do it. And I would make garbage just to do that. And in this case, you don't even have to blue yellow makes a second, it makes the combo even better. And, uh, um, double, uh, mm -hmm. double blue, blue red just adds to, you just put it to the right and it's no big deal. Yeah, no, this is, that's, that's absolutely the correct move. There's no way that's not correct. <laughs> you heard I feel super first. impressive right now that you anyway, found sorry. it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I love that a lot. It does a lot. It's a huge combo and it does a lot for dealing with this colony problem it, and uh yeah. Absolutely. I'd, I'm into it. I'd feel I'd feel I'd feel sick after that. I'd be like, "Yeah." Okay, anyway, let's go on. Yes. <laughs> All right. Anyway, she takes that combo and she gets a well she gets a pretty decent center anyway. Yeah, she does get it. And yeah. she do, she can get out from under the red if she she might. Uh, I wonder if she'll try to do these reds horizontally because now column eight's getting really high. Betty's board, however, I didn't really wasn't really paying attention ooh. to that. It's something. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. The garbage has blocked off her opportunity to get those horizontally, mm -hmm. but she gets the yellow horizontally. It's not the uh, the best move there. Because now she's just dropping that garbage down on top, but... Um, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I didn't like that play at all. She just double yellowed on that spot, her horizontal. She just blocked her horizontal off. I know it's not a combo, but honestly, anything that takes down well, column eight a little bit is something. Yeah, I mean, I guess that if she takes the blues out from underneath that in uh in column five... Oh, is that what she's thinking? It, yeah, that yeah, makes sense. Probably, it could be a combo, probably. but... I don't know. Something in my soul tells me that that can't be right. <laughs> but yeah, I I mean that that there is a line. That, yeah, there's a line here for sure. Okay, mm -hmm. I can. Let's see if that's what she ends up happening here. Ooh, Betty has a fat log up there. That's nice. But this stuff is still kind of a mess. Oh boy. Oh, now the center is really awkward. She could have just. Uh, I don't think she was forced to do that. Okay. interesting yeah so clearly that was her plan from the start oh great triple from betty there oh i really want her to put this yellow blue down the way she put it what up <laughs> <laughs> i always feel i feel uh, validated i feel seen okay 
Yeah, it feels good. Sarah's got a lot of move, right. Yeah, Sarah's got a lot of possibilities. They're all her I, garbage her... just wrecked Betty's combo. <laughs> yeah, I should pay. I should pay more attention to Betty's board here, I guess. But it's not looking great, <laughs> to be honest. I, I thought Sarah's board wasn't great, but hers is. She's even bigger popcorn situation in seven and eight, which is not good. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, drop that blue, Betty. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's. I mean, all things considered, this game feels super close. It does. Yeah. Oh, but. Oh, no, that was right. Okay makes sense see i'd be so scared to try to touch any of six seven or eight right now with the speed uh for betty's board yeah yeah it's hard to tell without the speed number on but yeah and honestly when she has an option like that to drop it down a column i think she's probably doing the best she can here whoa Ooh. she's getting elaborate yeah this is some DM That's... hero stuff. <laughs> it's funny you say that. I don't feel like DM hero does super elaborate things. He just does like simple fundamental things very, very quickly and efficiently. But that's maybe I maybe I just uh, haven't seen him play in a while. Maybe I'm it looks wrong. fancy to me because it's just it stuns me out of nowhere. Well, his execution is really... fancy. He's just so fast. That's the thing. Yeah. Oh, these are really uh, these are good from Sarah. I want a red yellow from her. Yeah, this kind of got away from Betty. Like, I think she was just trying to make combos and it wasn't working out or something. Yeah. Because now her. But I mean, uh, Sarah's column eight obviously is just. Yeah, but I mean, so but... is Betty's. So they're kind of even in that respect. They're both gonna have to deal with a messy column eight no matter what they do. And if she could get this yellow horizontal in between these blues on column eight, she's golden. She probably wants to get this first, Ooh. which she's gonna do yeah um but now i think oh interesting she's making a combo out of it I yeah don't like the that red... was good yeah and now I th yeah she sees the yellow she wants to de-sandwich so bad <laughs> fino sarah and she there even goes, i she love gets this a combo. i love this so hold on we're gonna talk about that because that's so <laughs> huge okay let me go back one more move so she obviously she sets up her like setup here so now she has a spot for the yellow um with this red blue this this is the start of it so any i guarantee you most people they're just waiting for the yellow so they can just slam it straight down right here get the combo and uh and then or get get the clear and then they have they think they've opened up the blue but if she put this red yellow here right now it would just leave a red spot behind right here and you couldn't get these blues together without clearing the red up first instead mm -hmm. she obviously was thinking about this from even before the yellow showed up because she got a red blue she started a drop and that's the perfect way to attack this because once the yellow is gone not only do you get a combo which is always a good thing but now the blues are actually going to be open for her to clear under and then she can get the red however she wants after that so like this is an awesome end game from sarah this is huge i think yeah, a lot of people this... make the, would, would make a mistake here yeah it's beautiful very satisfying absolutely okay <laughs> uh i gotta i'm still sorry i'm still getting used to like the the shortcuts for this drawing thing okay so Ooh, she makes the drop yes. she gets a huge combo and now she's gonna get a double blue that she just gets to casually throw in there and if she had done it the wrong way that would have been totally wasted now she's gonna under clear for the red i mean she's gotta get lucky here though she's gotta make sure that the red that she gets is not gonna be this one you know or, see yeah oh, and see, this happens. i was worried about this yeah <laughs> that's true that's that's always a tricky thing when you're doing this so now she has to do it up from underneath again that's not and like out. see she gets the double red again like yeah, yeah. i think pain. honestly in this spot maybe with the horizontal clear would be better and i wonder if she's gonna oh no she's just but gonna... now she's oh no Ooh. she's blocked oh. it all. <laughs> But even now, uh, she still she sees it, and now whoa, she almost blocked it too. Now she's just gonna do it horizontally, which I think is probably the best way to do it here. Okay, Whew. yeah. So even though her board got really uh, yeah. high up, I think Betty just had way too much garbage. I feel like Betty gets into these spots where she's she's really good at combos, but not always as good at um, at like digging. And I think I see it in mm -hmm. her speed play too, to be honest. So her end games probably aren't uh, not like you know her end games are not like probably the like the weakest part of her game is what i'm trying to say 
Um, but mm, yeah, uh, but I mean, I think not that that was really an issue here. Like I just her... don't think she was able to get her combo game going that well. Yeah, that's fair. In this, that, at any point, that happens so, sometimes. Yeah, but there were some really good, really good moves here. Oh, for sure. I mean, there are great moves on both sides. That's why I chose this game because it's crazy. This is game three, and we're halfway through the video. Game five is the long one. Just so you know, it is oh, a banger. Okay. Spoiler alert, but we'll, we'll, get, we'll get there. We'll get there. All right, let's, okay. let's see the game four. Let's see the first pill here. Uh, okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's Sorry. Kind of I given. mean, <laughs> yeah. So, well, let's talk about why, because it's not just, oh, red, yellow, you put the red, yellow on the red, yellow. Like, there's really no reason not to do this just because of that, but also, like, anywhere else you put it, you'd be blocking some kind of combo opportunity. There's this amazing, like, blue, red cluster on the left that you would not want to block mm -hmm. for the life of you. Uh, unless you absolutely had to and uh there's really like even if and the yeah, red sorry, yellow no. advances red yellow advances another blue red cluster on two three on yeah that's true so you have a lot of opportunities i think you'd rather yeah. keep since you already have these blue reds you'd probably just want to try to make this red yellow if you can but if you get a million blue reds and that's all you then you have that out so that's always good mm -hmm. so i'm pretty sure that's what they're both of them are going to do <laughs> Yeah. Mm, and they've oh, diverged here. Wow. This is a tricky opening just with the pills that they got, but Sarah's double yellow, I think, is first combo here. Whereas Betty took a more of a speed approach. Wow, she got a second one. I didn't even see that. Yeah, and I I mean I would have done that. Oh, yeah. Another one. Yeah, see, now I think Sarah's she's playing way more combo focused this game, I think. You can see it in the decisions she's making. Wow, I wonder if she did that on purpose. Hmm, that's <laughs> iffy. I don't. It's a little iffy. She'll get it. It makes me uncomfortable. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and then that's gonna clear that out. Oh, Betty gets a sweet. Tea. Oh, that was <laughs> awesome. Awesome from Betty. Yeah, oh, but now she's out of red. So she's she's putting it down in ways that seem artificial, but they're just trying to make more opportunities there. Yeah, Sarah's just finding the good opportunities. Oh, Sarah there. tripled herself. Oh, boy. Oh, no, that, that garbage in the sixth column is, or the fifth column for Sarah is, oh, no. Oh, no. That's too bad, oh, too. Oh she really gosh. should just clear it. Okay, she got a combo. Oh, wow. So that good. was so lucky. I'm going to be real, oh. though, honestly, <laughs> really quick. I would never fault anyone for just taking this blue out for survival oh, and getting yeah. the combo that way. Like, seriously. <laughs> you I, don't have yeah. to. Yeah, obviously, she got a huge reward out of doing this. And it, it was way better, but like, I would never feel like I made a huge mistake if I just took this blue out. You're gonna get a combo anyway, and like, uh, you're gonna most more importantly for survival's sake. Like at this stage, if Sarah gets one more piece of garbage, any she's dead. So any combo Betty makes could end the game, and that's always a horrible place to be. And you could give up a combo to you know not die. That's usually fair. <laughs> and this okay, this moment is the moment where I would blink. Or look behind, or like look stop, behind the screen or something. I would just <laughs> stop reading, and then it would be over. Like that's that's what would happen in my game. So yeah. you know. Anyway. Yeah, absolutely. But... <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So contrary to what it looks like, Sarah does actually not die here, but she gets there and gets uh, a huge quad on Betty here. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, it gives and... Betty that sweet L setup, which uh, is going yeah. to cascade into another horizontal. Uh, but that's that the way... was so beautiful. Oh yeah, my god, that's gosh. the way garbage goes. But hey, it comes back and she gets an automatic L there. That's sweet. Yeah. Let's see, Betty doesn't really have much to do with a blue red. Yeah, this board's like really hostile to yellow, but oh, that's too bad. Oh, nice double horizontal there from Betty. Yeah, Betty's pulled way ahead. I guess it's cause, and it has kind of been because she's been making like speed moves, but 
on the yeah. other hand. That's no, like... I mean, it's really efficient, and there's just been great combo opportunities. Like, look at this garbage from Sarah. It didn't really hurt her, you know? Yeah. And she's just able to carry on, but a nice combo down the center for Sarah. Yep. Interesting. Uh... Tons of opportunity for combos here, but it's never quite getting the exact pill that she needs to, to execute it. But yeah, I mean, so, like, obviously Sarah's really behind here, and since I said there was a game five, I accidentally spoiled that, like, she's not going to win this game. However, <laughs> I w but at this point, I wouldn't have necessarily guessed that she would have. That um, she would have lost? I was going to say how... No, that she would have... I I wouldn't have thought that she would have won. Yeah, well, that kind of leads to what I was going to ask, which is, like, how winnable do you think this game is for Sarah in this spot? Like, Um... I mean... I mean, Betty's board is pretty messed up. All of her, her, all of her viruses are buried, so if you comboed... If Sarah just reached in and found the dm hero deep inside of herself and and just comboed <laughs> betty forever like for like a straight minute i think you could that's that's like the, I mean, the only yeah, way you win you, this now yeah i would want to see crimson tackle that as well crimson i still remember that epic game she had against packy where she just comboed him for like straight 30 seconds <laughs> yeah so good yeah, outside of that video, I haven't really seen Crimson play a lot because she only plays in Virus Buster and she doesn't stream. So I've, I've never really seen her play. But I know, like, I've seen her tournament games from not last year. I see she wasn't there, but two two of them. So she's, yeah, she's obviously really strong. Nice combo from Betty there to clear the red out. Um, yeah, but she's out of red now. Uh, so she can exclusively yeah. exclusively use it for combos, which is good. Hmm, I don't know what Sarah's doing. I think she's trying to make too many plans at once because this is a really weird spot. Oh, nice combo wow. from Betty. Wow, and all of a sudden she's... Wow, oh, that was it. Oh. I'm like, oh, she only yeah. needs one more yellow. It's like, no, she's good. No, nope. no, nope. she's good. <laughs> wow. That was, that was crazy. Hot. Can I see that again? Can I you want to see the combo? Yeah, let's see the setup. Yeah, I want to see it one more time. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. she's going to stack up the red blues and... Where did that yellow? Is this yellow right here? Did she? Yeah, that, that falls. How long has that been there? It's been there forever. I don't, know. I don't think it's she been... planned that. There's no, yeah, no way she would have. I... <laughs> no offense to Betty, her combo game is sick, but I feel like that's been there for so long. There's no way she she did that on purpose, <laughs> or maybe she just saw it and it was like a just a you know she just I saw think the it's opportunity. Totally, but totally fair for her her to have seen it uh earlier than we might think yeah but at the same time when it first <laughs> fell i just don't it's hard for me to imagine that in the in the versus game when you are tunnel vision as as swang was saying yeah that many layers so difficult but i think she did see it much earlier than i did <laughs> Yeah, for sure. So cool. That was sick. Way but knowing, to go, Betty. But knowing Betty, and this is, I mean this in the nicest way possible, I could totally see that endgame playing out and her having the same reaction I did where she went, oh, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I would totally. I would yeah, totally. Absolutely. No, I... Because, yeah, because actually you and I were both thinking the same thing, which is like, oh my gosh, one more yellow. That's all I need. And I see it up top. Oh, wait, don't need it. Yeah, the game's you know, over. Like, <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. Every, everybody has those moments. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, this is the big one. This is so that we're 18 minutes into a 29 and a half or 18 and a half minutes into a 29 and a half minute video. And this is wow. So this is the this is the 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 decider that. OK, well, there will so be a lot. To we talk don't about it. let's put it that we way. don't deserve it. But this is the de this is decider the decider. We got. <laughs> this is the decider. <laughs> we uh, decider. We how does it go? I don't even remember. Decider we need. Not the decider we need, but the decider we deserve. I don't remember. Anyway, I'm 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 butchering this bit. <laughs> Let's just go to the first goal in the next game. Okay. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's actually an interesting decision. I think. Uh, well. So I know what the speed player in you wants to do, and I would say that that's like the worst option here. 
of all the... <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Um. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, Let's do this. I'm before you tell of... me, before you tell me, close okay. your eyes. Don't look at what I'm... And I'm going to draw on the screen what I think okay. your move is. And then without opening okay. your eyes, you're going to tell me. Do you know what move okay. you want to make? Um. Wait, can I look at the board for Yeah, yeah. I haven't uh, done anything yeah. Yet. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, Chad, I'm going to draw it on the board. Don't open your eyes, Savage. Okay, please reveal to the audience for the first time the move that you would make as a speed player. Okay. Or well, just in general. Before I do, can I just... I yeah, just you can ask a question about yeah, the sure. numbers of yeah, the columns. Because sure. cur I currently have my face buried in my hands, which <laughs> okay. is hilarious. Yeah, because I could just have my eyes closed, but I wanted to be bring some drama. Okay. So the column with two yellows in it, is that four? That's or is that three. three. Okay. So the speed player in me, in Little Savage, would... Stick that vertically in column four and then just wait until a red yellow came for the undertuck. Really? The As a speed player, you would do that? I'm I'm a mother tucking. <laughs> so just let me put that out there. Okay, let okay, me Okay, you can open, open your eyes. eyes. Is that the move I thought you thought I would think you'd make? <laughs> At least. I did not I did not for a second think of making that move. Really? As a speed player, that's what I would do. But as a versus player, no, I think no, that's but awful. you know why? Okay, so I'm trying to adapt my strategy a little bit, and I think it's working, that I don't want to clear that many yellows off at the same time. If those are the only yellows that are for a while, I can be patient. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. Um, that's getting into a topic about speed play that I that I don't want to get into. Yeah, here. And anyway, okay. But yeah, but, I, I yeah. know what you're saying, and I agree with you, and I think that that's also sort of like where the next level of speed play is going, but we won't talk, we're not talking about that here. This is a versus stream, okay? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> that's sorry. That's okay, that's okay. Yikes. That's okay, we're allowed tangents. It's fine. Um, yeah. So yeah, that in this, anyway, as far as versus is concerned, I think that the move I drew on the board is pretty terrible. Yeah, that seems... Um, because well it just doesn't mm, it's it doesn't it's an empty anything. clear plain and simple yeah. and in versus i just think that's horrible and like you said it clears away a lot of your yellows on top of that which leaves you with less opportunities to use yellows but, but wait a second i still i think if i saw double red coming next i might do it and then take some, set up like a red horizontal but i don't know anyway go ahead i think the move i would actually make if i can get the games or if i can get this to clear off are you gonna call them one no column? what why would i put oh. the yellows in column one that would be I wild no i'm gonna do it horizontally like this i think okay uh, just because now you have like well not that you didn't already but it just keeps your yellows open you have yellow blue ideas you have yellow red ideas to the right um it's just kind of a conservative move but um you could probably do it vertically in four as well that would be okay but it doesn't really make a combo opportunity hey, it doesn't <clears throat> right so I, i'm not big on that but this way i guess this way it still kind of messes up the yellow red you have going on but you can always under tuck like you said so it's not that bad you could if you got a yellow red after this you could like under tuck it underneath and then you could put another one on top and actually get a combo so mm -hmm. uh all right or, let's I guess, see i guess that wouldn't work never mind anyway let's <laughs> let's keep going nothing to see let's here see what, friends. let's see what they do Okay, so Sarah okay, made the Sarah... move that I didn't like. <laughs> oh, but oh, Betty's set up but for a combo Betty... now. Yeah. If she ta if she spins this. Yes, and actually, I love. I was gonna say uh, her next move. I love that because the yellow red's coming, and now she'll have a combo opportunity. And given that Sarah just made this move, I feel like she's a hundred percent gonna beat her to a combo to the first combo, no questions asked at this yeah. point. Yeah, that's great. All right, let's see it. Oh, doesn't do it. Oh, Wait, did she? Still... She didn't get she the didn't... yellow red, did she? I don't no. think. But she made it work anyway, and now she. She did. She yeah. She got first combo. Yeah, but she didn't pass up the yellow blue. She just never got it. I think. And she gets the okay. horizontal here. Another too. combo. Wow, wow. This is getting. You're you're telling me that this goes on from for eleven minutes from like That's here. Correct. That's correct. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I cannot wait for this. Holy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord yeah this i mean this looks like it's a game over for sarah but she uh sort of i don't honestly even remember what happened so i'm excited as excited as you are but she does survive from here yeah okay <laughs> well betty's betty's got a good combo she's able to take down yeah that garbage in column seven and eight that looks great i think she's gonna build up to this horizontal or try to 
Is that her plan? No, she's just getting combos now. And the garbage is sort of kind of nice for Sarah on Betty's side. Ooh. Wow, she's Whoa. <laughs> Sarah... <laughs> Yeah. Sarah uh, really not only survived that, but she was comboing while she did it. So that's kind of exactly what you need to manufacture yeah. a comeback. Yeah, column, column 7 is set for an underclear. I mean, kind of a garbagey mm -hmm. one, but like... Oh. I do not remember who wins this one, and I'm perfectly happy. Uh, I don't think, say I'm not going to tell you. I'm trying to okay. remember if I remember, and I'm pretty sure I do. I mean, I watched it live, so I kind of... I don't remember how the tournament went, so but I, was, I won't say. I was for your benefit. Grading, I was grading, <laughs> and uh, okay. I had it on, but only hearing the little pleasant sounds. I wasn't really watching. Yeah, I wonder how many nice people combo. watch the tournaments for for Doctor Mario ASMR. <laughs> I enjoy it. Interesting, but, uh, interesting yeah. thought. Anyway, sweet tea for uh, that, for uh, Sarah. As you can see, the game is totally flipped on its head now, and and Sarah's way ahead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, Betty, no. She lives. She lives. She <gasps> she does live. Oh somehow, my god! If you can believe that. Oh, damn! Wow! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Betty, slay queen. And then she's gonna get another combo here on Sarah. What She's an still icon! Begging for a yellow, <laughs> and then her setup gets blocked. Oh my god! But she finds this instead. Oof! Nice girl. Wow. Okay. Nice. Oh, Takes it to huge. seven and eight. So impressive. So huge to get that. Nice combo there. Wow. This game is spicy. Wow. Betty, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. She's. Can I just point that out? She didn't. Uh... Hold on a second. She, <laughs> yeah. She got this double red, and instead of making the easy blue red, like three and three setup, she turns it sideways because she sees the double blue coming and she wants to get this blue. That honestly, if she didn't do this, she would probably, she might never clear this blue virus for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a yeah, huge, no, that's a huge so heads good. up play for Betty. That's just very like, if you, if you blink, you might not even catch how important that was. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll, see, we'll get to see that again. And now if she clears these blues out, she has yellow horizontal opportunities, which she blocked off, but it's oh. whatever. Because she's going to combo ah. this now anyway. Oh, yeah, but it, things keep getting ruined that I want to move forward. Okay, so Sarah's still quite far ahead here. Oh, I feel like she misflipped on that, Betty. Oh, man. Okay. Tuck it on. Ooh, wait. Hold on. Go back. You want to go back? Go back. Okay. Go back. Go back. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'll go back like four seconds, like to here, or a little more? Uh, a little bit more. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Okay, now just pause for a second. Yeah. What I really want for Sarah is I want a blue yellow that she will stick in columns six and seven. Oh, for the underclear. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that'll yeah. be huge. I mean, she's like, I don't, I don't think, think this she does it. I don't think this yellow horizontal thing going on down here is really going to happen now that it's blocked anyway. So, yeah, yeah I'm all for it. A hundred percent. I don't think she does it, though. Anyway, really? Because like she doesn't really have another good spot for blue yellows after this. Yeah, so. I know, but that's why I was whining and why oh, did she <laughs> play did that she, back. Did she not do it? Oh, she gets yeah, one. See, Where look, did she put it? She's there. Oh, she was just tunnel vision on on clearing that off, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, maybe she was really wants to get this. I think she's tunnel vision on getting a horizontal here is the problem. Yeah, because yeah, she's no, not even trying blocked. to go for this. She just wants to clear the yellows, then clear the red set horizontally to get the yellows out, and then she can go from there i guess and do whatever she wants nice fat log from betty up top she's building another one. Oh, greedy and amazing and if she had wow. just held out a little one a more pill combo. she would have done it if she got a combo anyway yeah <laughs> she's still getting combos and sarah's just gonna this get... is still not 11 minutes so yeah <laughs> <laughs> sarah has like, 10 what? viruses left by the way there is at least seven minutes remaining in this game <laughs> <laughs> oh awesome cross from betty there 
Kind of like awesome sauce, uh, awesome cross. Okay. And I, I think most, I mean, I can't remember this exact detail. Wow. Woo. <laughs> and now she has a blue. Oh, she didn't take it, but she just gets, she gets good pieces anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Oh, Sarah's wrecked now. Yeah, like I think I feel like Betty's combo game really uh put her back into this game. Oh my god, I want a red yellow for Sarah. Red yellow for Sarah. She doesn't use it there. What's she doing? <laughs> oh, she does that. I wonder if maybe she like this is the rare time where Sarah actually like had some nerves or something. Maybe. Mm -hmm. which would be weird because she doesn't get nervous about anything <laughs> but hey she is cool as a cucumber wow yeah. betty ah, go back show, <laughs> show the world that one yeah more I, I didn't see please. it so we're going back yeah it's, i'm yeah, assuming okay. it's somewhere after this yeah when all these mm. pills reappeared but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes excellent oh man who's going for combos like that in tournaments it's insane <laughs> I know. I just, the thing is, like, watching this is so much, for me, it's so much more fun than playing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, because you don't have to be the one to deal with it. It's well, like yeah, it. exactly, but also just sick. Oh, I think. Oh, I think that was a miscount. Oh, Sarah gets the double blue for this team! Whatever! <laughs> Nice and an L. Oh, and now oh, suddenly it's all coming sick. down for her again. Oh, come on, get it. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, she's got a double. She's got a fat log. Fat log. Sarah, she's do gonna it. do it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and oh. She, no. Oh, she, she blocks, blocks it, it off. off. Oh. <laughs> And this oh, isn't, oh. no. It's wow. killing me. I've seen this game and it's killing me. I can't remember. I can't handle my life right now. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, Betty. So, Betty. <laughs> this is, yeah, okay. So, she just dropped that. And it, you can tell it's getting fast for them. Like, oh, oh yeah. God. The speed is a lot. <laughs> Yeah. That log for Betty. Wow, Betty's really high up on the screen. <laughs> she really is. And like, I'd be <laughs> super dead right now. Yeah, okay. I feel like a lot of people would be, but they're, neither of them are giving up. This is crazy. And they're still playing well, is the thing. It's <laughs> yeah. not the. It's not the like, oh, I'm not giving up and. But I'm floundering like, and like, just but I'm trying floundering. Not to die. Oh, wait, Betty missed his sweet tea there with that double blue. Oh, but never mind. Gets it yeah. back. Oh, and then tacks this under is... to drop her right side. Oh, that's my God. sick. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Gals, this is fantastic. Oh, wow. This she is... didn't do it. What? I think Betty just had an out of body experience for three seconds. She just let the pills fall. <laughs> <laughs> but she's still living. <laughs> oh, and she just... What are these combos, man? I can't even pause and talk about this. I, I don't want to... Let's just watch this. I don't even care. Wow. Oh, okay. my God. Oh, trickle. <laughs> this game is so good. Oh, going. and Rex Sarah. Rex Sarah. <laughs> oh. Tweet tea for Sarah. Holy. Not, neither Clear of them out are... that yellow and column seven, Sarah. Up. <laughs> oh my god and now it's gonna drop it's gonna be even more drop time get that get yellow, that yellow blue. seven sarah come on clear it no okay i mean honestly it's so fast no, i, I know can't it's so fast okay good yep yep, yep. oh she could have done it she's Tasty. not going for it okay she's not going for it I for don't seven eight why. yeah i mean i think she just you know, wanted to clean up the center. <laughs> oh, I don't no, know. it's gone. Honestly, can't I can't fault anyone for making small mistakes at this speed. Like, this is... 
Wow. <laughs> I'm so glad I forgot what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, awesome clear from Betty there. This is just a dog fight. Yeah, this is just this is this is literally just turned into combos like no, I don't think anyone's clearing the board at this point. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow, Betty's really chopped it down. She really has. I mean, in a in a one way, she's like looking a little bit better than Sarah right now. But Sarah does have a lot of combo. Like, <gasps> oh, is that it? Oh, that could be it. I don't know. She's gonna yeah. drop it, right? No. Oh, oh, she missed oh! the no. Oh! I don't know if you no, can come back from this. This is this. it. This is yeah, it. It's gotta be. Oh, oh what a way to go. That could have oh. kept going for sure. Oh, oh definitely. Oh, <laughs> I. That's heartbreaking. Yeah, yeah. It's Wait, can you go back? Can you go back to that? Yeah, we certainly can. How far back exactly? Like right before this happened? I, like I here? guess. Is, is I mean, it's gonna be pretty okay. fast. So. So wait, why? Oh, I really want her to take that. Send that yellow to column six and seven, right? Or even just take vertical, it vertical six. Or and vertical. Get a combo? Yeah. yeah, it's even better. Well, she'll get a combo. Big combos either way, but. Yeah, what happens there? Like play it. Oh, I think she just misdrops because it's really fast. I think she accidentally she tries to get it past this red garbage that's falling because she's nervous that she won't get it fast or fast enough, and she just puts it all the way to the edge and uh, and misses. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Oh. That's exactly yeah. what happened. Yeah. Damn. I don't even I, now, six seven is pretty good too because then she has this, red, red, yellow, yellow here. That's pretty good. Setup. I would really try desperately then to get this double blue under column five. At this point, yeah, probably. I, I mean, desperately, but I don't think it would work. I think what I well, I think she just accidentally literally puts it on top because she's stunned that she's like she, it just kind of yeah. breaks her a little bit that she missed this and she goes oh shit and then she forgets that it's going <laughs> so fast that she doesn't have time to stop thinking. And then the pill just falls, right? Oh no, mm -hmm. that that was a double red that came out. We just didn't Ooh. see it on the screen yet. That was the next pill. So she was like, "Oh shit, I've got to get it over here or something." And then it just got stuck. And then it was so fast. You know, like when you make a mistake, like yeah. you lose the flow, and then you start making more mistakes. I think that's exactly what happened here. Um, oh. Sadly, it was just, uh, yeah, just too much. Wow, what a game, man. That was amazing. Yeah, that was one of the craziest uh, game fives I've ever seen, ever. I think, like that yeah. went on for that went on so long. Like that's kind of what I was talking about when I was talking about how like with Hibimoto when, like he'll he'll just start comboing you and then the game state ends up exactly like what you saw with Betty and Sarah where you're just there's so much garbage and both of you have comboed each other and now the speed's so fast that you like there's no way you're gonna clear out the board. Unless yeah. everyone stops comboing for the rest of the match, which is never going to happen. Like, but I wish, oh, I wish there was some way that you could. Oh, pardon me. Excuse me. How can I <laughs> yawn after that? Because I wasn't breathing. Um, I wish there was some way that in versus play, you could find a way to predict when and who these awesome matches would happen with, because. Ugh. yeah i'm so happy that uh i got this one on stream um, yeah but honestly with the way fight kid works you can go back and watch the replay of any of the matches you want so in theory like if someone had a crazy game and they dm'd me and they're like hey my match was insane i could just go pull up the replay and i could screen capture it and then i could just i could just have it that way and then everyone could see it so i mean if anyone out there is a competitor in, in the monthly checkup, if, if that ever happens, if you ever have like a crazy game that you think deserves to be like on the YouTube channel or something, please reach out and let me know in the, in the channel during the tournament or just DM me or something. And then I'll make a note to go back and watch the replay. Cause you can just, you can, all the replays are publicly available so I can go back and find any match and just 
re-record it and then put it up on youtube if it's uh if it's a notable match for sure so yeah definitely let me know so that way we don't lose amazing games like this to to the passage of time forever wow. <laughs> yeah that was uh that's so their second i think that's game five lasts like 11 like a third of the total match time i'm pretty sure <laughs> man yeah it's i mean that makes sense pretty wild oh, wow. yeah absolutely meanwhile oh no i'm not gonna bring that up but let's just say there was one round in the one streamed match that lasted a total of three minutes and it was not uh like you know it wasn't a bad match even but it was just it was three minutes it was a three oh and three minutes it was crazy oh yeah i mean but uh, just when you're playing one of these tournaments you make so many decisions yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like, that's that's really where it counts. Like, in that game, that that's the craziest game five situation you could possibly find yourself in. Like, mm -hmm. with uh, the speed going at that pace and the boards the way they were, and both players being in the same situation. Like, I felt like anyone could have won that game right up to the very end. It was insane. Yeah, or you know, it could have been over way more quickly. Yeah, that game than was almost. Was. <laughs> that game was almost over in like the first two minutes uh mm -hmm. for like both players <laughs> damn <laughs> yeah yeah this game is insane so uh, that's definitely what i wanted to bring it up i was kind of hoping to analyze that last game more but i forgot how hype it was and it's it's all good yeah just i mean so, so much of it though was just like i don't know how you could necessarily like make predictions on what was going to happen in a realistic sort of way you know like because if you had been playing that game thoughts i don't know what well, that's your your muscle memory and your instinct uh has to kick in at that point i think I or you so, just have yeah. to be that fast at thinking i don't know all right well hey thanks for inviting me to uh to watch this with you it was yeah it was a banger it was a bad i told you <laughs> <laughs> i told you that was winners round one of the tournament that was the first round of the tournament by the way just, i don't know if i made that clear that was not uh... grand finals or even like winners semis or anything that was the first round yeah that's terrible yeah <laughs> that was the first round match that was worthy of being like a finals match that was insane yeah but yeah anyway um th we have quite a few viewers so that's cool thanks for watching everybody i hope you guys enjoyed like the the analysis stuff i know we, we kept we didn't get super into the weeds on any particular thing i kind of wanted to actually get through all five games and i knew it would be a bit of a long one so i didn't try to try not to waste too much time in one particular decision but uh I don't know, maybe in the future, maybe I should have just done game five alone and we should have just analyzed that for an hour and a half alone. <laughs> like every movie. I, I mean, I bet you could bet you could. <laughs> but but anyway. yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I think that we should, you know, as a community, I don't mean just you and me. I think we should do more of this for each other in the uh, versus and speed realm. So, yeah yeah i mean let's uh, I, let's make it happen absolutely yeah, i was inspired to do this by dimwitz videos because he's had those slow thought videos like the ones that he did with you um mm -hmm. when you first started playing. so helpful and they were helpful for you but they were helpful for a lot of people and people just seem to really enjoy them and i've done i've, I've tuned into live streams with D, with dimwit and other people doing this kind of thing for speed play but no one did it for verses and i was like we, we should there should be more of that so let's do that mm -hmm. <laughs> but anyway uh yeah i'm gonna call it there hey mole well, how's it going? Thanks for showing up right at the end. <laughs> unless right. you were, unless Bye you were every... Bye, everybody. Yeah. See you next time, everybody. Have a good one.